Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to restart. Okay, so I've come across this little issue where I try to log in, load in, log in, load in a certain VST that I installed, a third-party VST, and it shows up as a sampler. So I think it's Zbeta here. Okay, no, it's not that. Okay? Maybe it's Zbeta too. What the heck? Oh no, sorry, it was Wobble Base that showed up as a sampler. Okay, so the reason why this is showing up here when you try to load in a uh, a third party generator is because it's being sent over here for whatever reason. You might still be able to play it with your keys, but when it comes to actually trying to send it to the piano roll, for example, and you like go to sampler, you're going to get nothing. And by the way, I have all my windows set to detached by default. That's why they're sort of, you know, in the way. So let's show you a quick fix on how to get around that. First, we're going to go to the um, <coughs> more plugins. And we're going to go to manage plugins. And we're going to check and see if it's set. Okay, so it is set to synth already. If if you have a third-party generator that you installed, VST that you installed, if you come over to Plugin Info tab, you should be able to set it to either like an effect or a synth. This helps um, FL actually differentiate between the two. However, even though this is still set to synth, if I were to go back and try to reload another wobble base, it gives, it gives me another sample. The VST loads just fine, and it gets sent to the master track again. Here's the workaround I found. When you go into your um, your browser here, you're going to go into this plugins tab, and I'm going to collapse all just so you all can see this. When you're gonna click into plugin database, database you're gonna go into install. I'm gonna go into generators, VST, and wobble bases all the way down here. All I'm going to do is like let's say for example select generators i'm going to come all the way back down here right click on wobble base add a uh, plugin database and flag it as favorite so it should have gotten added to the generators so i'm going to come back over here and let's load in a third wobble base aha see and now it adds to the actual track so even if you close this, this and reopen it on like a later day, like let's say a thousand years from now, assuming this is still supported, when you open this up, assuming that this VST is in the right place, everything is still working just fine, it'll now start loading into the channel track. So if I were to come into a new, um, a new uh, window, at wobble base, ha 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 ha. See? And then you could just select the track you want it in, and there you go. You have a thing added. So just a quick tutorial, and hope this helps.